Hello, my name is Shuli and I'm from Dallas, Texas. I did my undergraduate studies at the University of Texas at Austin and my master's at University of Texas in Arlington in biomedical engineering. I was a Fulbright grantee for the year 2011 to 2012 at Uppsala University and now I'm continuing my studies here. So I applied for the Fulbright grant uh, with a project uh, understanding and studying the effects of nanotechnology on biomedical applications. So I'm pretty much trying to understand how nano surface topographies of different materials can affect how stem cells can grow and change into different types of cells, such as bone cells. We also made an extension to this project and trying to understand the other side of nanotechnology. A lot of people uh, are using nanotechnology in many consumer products. It's found everywhere, but no one really knows the toxic side of nanotechnology. How can this actually affect how we're living every day? And what are the toxic effects of uh, nanoparticles specifically that can be found in the air and makeup in uh, different plastics? And trying to understand that in an in vitro uh, cell culture model and will then eventually be implemented into animal models to understand in vivo aspects. And that will mainly be my PhD project. So this is the Ångström Cell Lab and we're comprised of three main groups here at Ångström and we're special in that uh, we're the only ones that are doing biological analysis on different materials here at Ångström. Here in Sweden, there, I find that there is a bit more of a balance between your personal life and your career life. To know that you don't have to work 24 hours of the day in the lab and it makes, it makes things more pleasant to work here and you get a lot more work done. I find myself more productive working in the lab here compared to if I was working back in the States. So to study these effects of nanosurface topography, I'm using a material that is uh, a ceramic. It's called a nanoporous alumina. And it's been found that this material can be used beneficially for bone implants. So I'm trying to study the effects of how different pore sizes in the nanoscale region can affect stem cells to differentiate and to grow into bone cells. And when I first heard about this project, I was really excited about it. And I specifically came here to Sweden because my supervisor was actually the first person to use nanoporous alumina as a substrate material for bone cells. And she actually uh, did her PhD work on that. So that really led me to come to Sweden because she is definitely the best person to learn more about the substrate, more about the field, because she is a pioneer in how this was first started. I really love Uppsala. Uh, it's nice that it's a university town. It's very, it's, it's quiet. It's a really easy lifestyle. I'm a lot more healthy here actually because I bike a lot. I bike everywhere and walking and I found a really nice group of friends. Uh, Sweden has become like my home and I feel so comfortable here and more importantly the lab is so nice that I'm a part of and my supervisor and I are like family. We're so close and I think that makes it really easy to live away from home because in the end you're not really living away from home because now Sweden is my home. So it's quite nice that the transition between the states and Sweden was so easy and I think being here for one year was really more of a chance for me to understand the culture and to integrate myself more into the Swedish type of life. And so the, when I arrived here for the Fulbright grant, and I was actually really excited and nervous, but really happy to know that there are 10, 10 other uh, people coming from the States. So you feel like you're not alone. And in Uppsala itself, there were three other 
grantees here. So it was kind of like we were like a little family and the Fulbright Commission made it so easy for us to transition from being in the States to Sweden and the cultural events they organized for us and we actually got to meet the other Fulbright grantees which was really great. I've made you know, nine other friends from all around the country and it's really nice when you go back to the States and you can just contact someone and say oh I was uh, Fulbright from this year and you have this connection and this bond which I don't think you have with other scholarships so it's really unique in that way.